type 1 diabetes, otherwise known as juvenile diabetes, is a pure genetic disorder. There is a C-reactive protein blood test correlated with an A1C, which is a three-month average, that, depending on what uh, research you reference, is about 80% reliable of definitively capturing whether someone is a type 1 or a type 2. So that's something that's a genetic disorder that will express itself very early on, juvenile, born with genetic type 1. Type 2, on the other hand, is known as adult onset. You don't hear that too much anymore, but that's what it was known as 10 years ago, which means as we mature, our lifestyle determines how we function as uh, a type 2 diabetic. So our food choices, our lack of nutrition, our high glycemic foods, the timing of our meals, uh, our amount of activity, all these contribute to adult onset diabetes. Now, what's the parameters for that? Blood sugar normally, again, depending on what you, you reference, what lab uh, you use or your doctor uh, uses, 80 milligrams to 120 milligrams per deciliter is the normal range. Again, fasting. And the A1C is a three-month average. Those are important. Um, and again, I've seen uh, patients with blood uh, glucose levels over 800, and I've seen A1Cs over 17. Although I didn't think that was possible, it's a reality. Now, just to briefly recap, type 1 is a pure genetic disorder. If the testing isn't done, it's a guess. And what's happening now is since there's more and more type 2s, lifestyle-related type 2 diabetes, happening, happening younger and younger, it's assumed, wrongly, in a lot of cases that I've seen, that the person is a type 1 just based on their age, and that's inaccurate. Proper testing must be done to confirm that. Type 2 diabetes, or adult onset diabetes, is simply that. The choices that one's making in their lifestyle is determining their blood sugar condition and moving them into a type 2. Type 2 is completely reversible. This isn't me. This parrots a number of peer-reviewed research, a number of uh, very uh, prolific uh, studies. University of Tokyo, University of Michigan, Dr. Shea O'Day, University of Australia, on and on. And I reference over 25 of them in my book. So I hope this helps distinguish between type 1 and type 2. Uh, please comment and uh, I'll post more videos as uh, to answer your questions. Thank you again so much.